going on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Kwan. Today we have a different type of video. This is kind of a how to dress for the full time slash outfit inspo type of video. I'm kind of be going over how I build a fall outfit or wardrobe essentially. I want you guys to keep in mind this isn't the end all be all list of how to dress for the fall time. Obviously this is for mostly just building a minimalist and cohesive wardrobe. For me, I really like just doing less. I think that says a lot more. And then again, it is fall time. So no more shorts and shirts. That's basically the go-to outfit that I did for the summertime. So I'm glad that's over. I'm gonna kind of be describing a beginner's guide on how to dress for the fall time for people that are just starting to get into fashion. So I kind of categorize all of my pieces of clothing into three categories, which is casual, normal, and formal. So my general rule of thumb is not mixing my formal and my casual clothing together. The only type of category that can really mix well is the clothing. I'll give some examples of that later in the video, as well as some outfit inspiration. So I'm gonna go over footwear, bottoms, and tops, and show you guys examples of a casual, normal, and formal option for all of them, and also other recommendations. So let's get into footwear first. For my casual choice of footwear, I went with these Stussy Birkenstock Bostons in this brown colorway. I've shown these on the channel before. They're made up of a corduroy material all throughout with Stussy branding on the sides. Honestly, these are super cooked. If you look at the heel drag and the soles, they're basically coming apart. My dog chews on these as well, which doesn't help. But I honestly wear these all year round, even when it's snowing. You could opt for other sandals. I'm probably gonna look for another pair of Birkenstock Bostons, like the all leather blacked out ones. And I'm also looking at the Kiko Wessex Sabo sandal. As in, again, brown colorway, it kind of looks like Jesus sandals. Has a vibrant sole, very cool. But this is just my choice for a casual footwear. So next up, I have these Solomon XT Quest Advance. This is for the normal side for footwear. These are steel toe. You got this nice hiking lacing system on them and also has these cool zigzags on the side. These basically go with everything. I also have the Nike Bodhi Astro Grabbers that I've shown on the channel before. So you could kind of swap it out with anything. You want to pick a comfortable shoe, something that's versatile and that you could wear all the time and pretty pairs up with any type of bottom that you might choose for it. Pretty comfortable sneaker. These are my go-to whenever it snows, rains, sunny day, anything. So for formal choice, I have these Ore NYC Stavio Derbies that I've shown before again. For this, kind of pick like a leather type of shoe. So loafers, derbies, oxfords, something like that. Just for more formal events like weddings or important dinners. Again, I would not mix these with casual clothing for the most part. Like I'd rather wear these with black trousers and black sweatpants so pretty simple again or a nyc stavio derbies all right now let's talk about bottom so the casual choice for me is of course sweatpants you cannot go wrong with a pair of sweatpants for me i like my sweatpants uncuffed and kind of just drape along the shoe again i would not pair these up with a fancy pair of derbies or like a blazer just keep it casual with sweatpants you know, I could wear these with my Burks and my Solomons, but I would not wear these with my All Right NYC Stelvio Derby. For recommendations, I've seen the Uniqlo C ones, and these are from Cotton as well. So if you're in need for a new pair of sweatpants, I would check these out. All right, for my normal pair of bottoms, I have these Acne 2021M jeans. I feel like denim is a good middle ground. You can dress them up, dress them down, doesn't really matter. They're just really versatile. I can wear these with my derbies, I can wear these with the Solomons, I can wear these with the Birkenstock Bostons. For this option, you kind of want to find a pair of bottoms that go with anything. 
So that's why I feel like normal type of clothing is the best to find because it pretty much pairs up with everything. Super versatile. So make sure you nail this category down essentially. Okay, so four bottoms. For the formal option, I feel like the go-to is the black trouser. These are from Kiko Kostadinov. They're called the black Orma reversible trouser. So the back of the pants kind of looks like it's at the front with all the pleating, lots of pockets as well. For this option, it's pretty simple. Can't really go wrong with formal clothes. Just make sure it fits you well. These are a bit long. I don't want to get them tailored because I like the look and the fit. But again, I would not wear these with Birkenstock Bostons, but I could potentially wear them with the Solomons or the Aura NYC Stelvio Derby. So just be on the lookout for that. Again, you never want to really mix formal with casual unless you're experimenting or you know what you're doing with certain pieces. Okay, now let's move on to tops. So I wouldn't really count shirts. I kind of just wear like a plain white t-shirt all the time. So I'm probably gonna go over like tops to wear and maybe like layering options. So for the casual side, I have this Jacove hoodie. It's called the heavy hoodie, enzyme wash, I believe. Nice, big, oversized fit. I took off the strings on them as well. And also has two hidden pockets on the side. Well, this is my go-to hoodie. You should always have a go-to hoodie for the fall and winter time. You could also pick stuff like crewnecks. I would recommend looking vintage as well. Also made in the USA has some great options. They're really cropped. Nice fitting overall, and they're not gonna break the bank, so. And again, I would not wear this really with some black trousers. I mean, you can, but it's just, in this case, I'm trying to simplify my outfits, make sure I don't look too out of place, so I'd wear this with like sweatpants or denim. Okay, so now with the normal pick for my tops, I have this Our Legacy Reincarnation shirt jacket it's made of a sheep leather it's very smooth very buttery i feel like this is my go-to top for anything if i'm going out with friends if i'm going out on a date again this category is so important it has to be dressed up or down i feel like this shirt fits perfect on me and again it's just super versatile so make sure you nail the normal type of category first before you kind of look into casual or formal Honestly, this is like the most formal thing that I have. And it's this Art Legacy Evening Polo Cardigan. But also, you can substitute this with like blazers or button-up shirts. Again, I would not really wear it with sweatpants. I would keep it in the formal or normal category. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the things I wanted to show you guys. Right now, I'm going to try all of these things I've showed you and see how we can mix and match and make outfits for the fall time. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try and do this all in one take. Uh, it'll be a little hard, but we'll try. This is my all casual outfit with the con sweats, Jacove hoodie, and the Birkenstock Bostons. I'll just use a base of a white tee all the time. But as you can see, this is a very cozy outfit, something that I would wear to lounge around in. If I'm just getting groceries or have nothing else better to do, don't wanna dress up too much. And then here, I'm gonna swap out the hoodie for the Art Legacy Reincarnation shirt jacket. It's a little more put together, I would say, than the hoodie. Uh, it makes myself look a little more presentable. But yeah, pretty basic switch up as in how to mix with casual, normal clothing. And then I am gonna put on the Solomons, as you can see here. Honestly, it doesn't make that much of a change, but again, it just makes it look more presentable and it still flows well with the outfit. And then here, I switch out the pants for Acne Studios 2021M denim. Again, this makes it look a lot more presentable or just more fashion forward, I guess, than just sweatpants. The belt is recto, but this is my go-to outfit for anything. I really like this outfit, actually. I also swap out the jeans for the are legacy ones as well which are in a darker wash okay now i have swapped the solomons for the orion nyc derbies as you can see here i could button it up to make it look more presentable as well but yeah again i mix formal and normal together the normal type of clothing can go with casual and formal and here i swap out the jeans for the Kiko Kostadinov black Omer reversible trouser. 
again very formal look honestly this shirt jacket can go in the formal category but i just wear it all the time it's so versatile you can dress it up or dress it down but again i really like this outfit i like how the pants fit i like how the jacket fits and it goes really well together just flows cohesive so yeah very nice outfit here I swap it out for the formal top again they're kind of both the same I feel like this cardigan is on the same level as the Arlexi reincarnation shirt jacket uh, it's the formal look but you know still flows well together as you could see very nice outfit very cohesive I'm gonna swap the derbies for the Solomons. And again, it still goes together. The pants still flow well with the shoes. And then I'm gonna swap the Kiko pants for the Acne 2021 M denim. Again, still flows well together. Looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna go more for a casual look and then put on the hoodie. So as you can see, I only have three tops, three bottoms, three shoes, and you can make a ton of outfits with them, so you don't need a lot of clothes in your wardrobe. Just make sure you have a cohesive wardrobe, a lot of things that mix well together, and that'll be your fall closet. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah.